that to wait out our sin. Yep. And, um, and like poke from ranges where you don't have to deal with all of the like you know close range BS that you know the, the, the Joker can do. Yeah. All right, Samsora versus Goblin now. Mm. Samsora with a very close victory over Shogun. Goblin. Yeah, that was insane reverse three zero. Yeah, and Goblin, you know, really aggressive, like you know, solid Roy player. I actually am, am super curious who he beat to get here too. Oh, he beat Big D. Okay. Yeah, yeah Big D who who pulled uh, his own upset victory over Proto Bantam. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, this is actually going to be, uh, yeah, this is already inside of uh, winner's top 32. This match, I feel, um, is interesting because I've seen Samsora lose to uh, Stroller's Roy in the past. Yeah. But I I think Goblin and Samsora are from the same region. And I don't think Goblin's uh, taking that many sets over Samsora. <laughs> Goblin? Yeah. But I don't know. It's, uh, maybe today's the day. Maybe Goblin's, today's, a, maybe Goblin's today's an amazing the player. Day. Yeah, we'll see, man. Guys, uh, up in games over Tweak, which is something that not a lot of people can say. Yeah. And I don't even think he's, like, within the, the oh. top 15. Oh. But, oh, yeah, you already know. Sam Sora with these low percent combos, you're going to just hold 60 plus percent if you mess up. You know what's funny? I, I'm, like, looking at this. Why do I feel like Umeki didn't do any down tilts? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Different yeah. styles, you know. Different matchups, too. Different it, matchups, it, it can, too. It can be really hard to hit, like, a up close down tilt against Joker. Against Joker, yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> All right, so oh, God, too late. Was, yeah, actually, quite late on that one. I was a little bit shocked. Ooh, Ooh that yeah, near one is so scary. I think that's like near one up smash, like the next up smash. Ah, yeah, catching the side piece from the ledge. Some Sora, obviously forward air. Like if you have stage control, forward air is just like one of the most powerful tools you have to close stocks out. Dude, that jab hitbox is so huge as like an anti-air covering jump. But if, he has to be ready for the follow-up immediately, though. Right. Because the thing is, right there, he hit him so high up that he just almost, he almost went straight up. Like, there was no chance of really hitting a backer there. Yeah. Do you have to um, recognize when to go for jab, up air, or jab, uh, backer? Right. A jab, up air, I don't think would KO there, right? So. Uh, yeah, not at this percent, but right. higher. Dang. Still. That's, that's rough for Goblin. Right. That was both sweet spots, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ooh, Forder coming off the ledge. Yeah, Goblin right now looks like... Honestly, like the, the the deficiency right now is that Samsora, when he has stage control, he's maintaining it excellently. And uh, with Goblin, it looks like he kind of is unfortunately giving it up here and there. Oh, okay. nice catch. Yeah, no double jump here. All right, but Samsora, a little late with that turn up. Oh. But across the entire stage, he had an excellent DI to kind of DI into the corner and, you know. Extend that stock with that up throw. Oh, he has the up throw too. That's how you know he knows the matchup. Ooh! Oh. What you swinging at? And the whiff punch with the flow cancel back here. Some sort of already up two stocks. Get off me though. Yeah. Using a little bit of the armor of the up B, just relieve a little bit of that pressure from the down air. Yeah. And that could have been the start of a huge uh, combo for Sam Sora, too. Yeah. And Sam Sora is just... Oh, actually, we're seeing it right now. He got the grazing hit of the fair, I think? That might have been enough to just take it. What do you mean by grazing? The, uh, you know, the like, Phantom. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> the grazing hit. No jump. Okay. Gonna retreat high here though. Oh, not covering the air dodge though. Mm. Yeah, that's something that's pretty rough for Roy because like, oh, oh wow. wow, then we're living though. Dang. Yeah, that's crazy. But that's rough because uh, Peach is like this floatiness to her that makes his combos a little bit harder to pull off consistently. Yeah, wow, did he really go for side B into another jab on the platform? That was crazy. Yeah, you gotta pull out the crazy, the crazy stops here mm -hmm. to make up this deficit. Yeah. Oh, some sort of not turning around before that grab. This is so much damage here. Oh my god, look at the turn of dude. It covers so much space. Yeah. Oof. Nice shield pressure here. Oh, yeah. No. He needs that to connect. He's so far behind in percent already. I think it's the same kind of thing where, you know, up air might not have done it. Even if he, even if he recognized that this was more of a time to go for up air. Up B. Still not enough. Dang, Great DI man. straight to the corner. That's actually Samsora. been another theme of this game, man. It feels like Samsora's DIing everything so well. Like, I, the, the number of times Goblin's gotten the kill flash on a move, but Samsora's actually survived. Yeah, it's uh, been really rough. Especially that force match at the ledge, too. Yeah. 
All right, Goblin, I mean, Rage Roy can definitely kill really early, but, like, Samsara's not falling into any obvious setups whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, wow. Able to nair all the way in. Okay, some combo damage here. Yeah, but again, that, that floating is a peach. Wasn't able to uh, continue the string, but hold up. Miss Tech. Oh. That could have been horrible for Samsara. Yeah, man. Oh. It's like the same thing as, uh, wait, dash attack? Dash attack. No. Wow. Yeah, he DI. didn't, he yeah. didn't DI straight up. Yeah. Dang up would have been really awful there. No jump. Oh, hold Whoa. up. He could definitely close this out if he gets a side B. Wait oh a minute. Oh my goodness. I'm oh sorry I might have slept on Goblin a little bit too much. Yep. Up and now there. It's basically even considering the rage on Roy. Oh. Oh. Wow. The jump call out. That was so scary. Wow. Jeez. Oh man. If if Sam Sora just a little bit off on his timing of the nair there, that was a free hit from Goblin too. Yep. And Goblin, I think, doing the um, doing the universal motion for yo, I'm running it back. Oh, he did the. the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't a bad stage for Goblin, honestly. If no. anything, he was bringing it all the way back. If he plays the way he did that last stop, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, definitely within the realm of possibility. All right, so he's gonna. Um, yeah, he's just gonna want to like. I just feel like when he's when he's in the middle of the stage, right? He's got some sort of back to the ledge. He just needs to make sure he's not getting like snuck out on, where, where some sort is doing these kind of aggressive options coming out of the corner. Yeah. You, you just haven't really been able to see him a uh, ledge trap uh, some sort of that well. Yeah. Although, for what it's worth, I think Samsora hasn't really been ledge trapping Goblin that much either. Ooh, looking for the jab. There yeah, it is. The, the first, first jab one, back the air. first one of the set so far. Right. Because a lot of the time when he's getting these jabs, Samsora's kind of in that weird spot where he's like above him. But that was one where he was right on top of him, so he gets him right where he wants him. Yeah, okay. Goblin trying to get these combo starters. He can get a lot started if he just gets that right hit like a, the neutral air. But right. Samsora is not falling into it whatsoever. Oh, yes, he's trying it again because with punch by the back air. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. He tried to drip to, like, avoid getting sniped there, but he ended up putting himself in an even worse spot. Yeah. All right. Big damage here. No jump oh. either. Which means he doesn't even care about getting the sour spot. He's like, all right, I'm just going to carry you all the way to the corner. Yeah. Just wow. Get the, get the little extra damage. Okay, opportunity. Oh, forward tilt. I'm actually so impressed with uh, that parry from Samsora because Goblin was actually mixing up his timing on his fastball aerial to like uh, punish the parry, but Samsora still got it. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's something you gotta you gotta do throwing those like little timing mix-ups, you know, just a little. Do I fastball or do I not? You know. Oh man, come with the ledge jump. Oh. How's he gonna get off the ledge here? Oh. Man, he's applying so much pressure. <laughs> You're definitely gonna shield when like a peach is float canceling right in front of your face. Yeah. Oh. Wow. He was too low. Yeah. Word recovery, it, it's not terrible, but it doesn't have the most range like, going yeah. like vertically. Yeah, the hitboxes on it are good, but the range is kinda eh. Alright, so. Oh, back there. Uh -oh. That might have been a bit of an Oh accident. man, Sam's oh. doesn't care. He's just gonna keep hitting him. Doesn't even matter if you drop the combo. Damage. Oh no, my goodness! All this damage. Oh Yo, my those goodness! Stadium two, those stadium two platforms. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, Sam is using them to much greater effect than Goblin is. Yeah, like, I actually feel like running it back might not have been the smartest call. It was so close the first game, though. I guess that's why yeah. I figured like the stage isn't a problem, but for sure, for Samsora's sure, turning it up this game like twofold right now. Again, man. Yeah, that floatiness of Peach. Wow. That downer off the top. All right. I've never seen that. Yeah, that was like crazy. That. Okay, we, we've seen Goblin already make one insane almost comeback. Oh, oh no oh, tech, no. Oh, you got to have those, man. Yeah, he didn't think he was getting sent in that direction, or maybe he just thought the uppy hitbox would protect him. But, you know, in a moment like that, it makes sense. You, you might just want to just press, press the L button just as, like, an option select. You know, if you don't need it, you're just going to grab the ledge. But uh, if you happen to get, you know, slammed against the stage, then you will input attack. Yeah, Samsora gonna find his way up uh, 2 0 here over Goblin. And I just think it's funny that Samsora had very little confidence coming into this tournament with like losing his controller or whatever. But like he's playing still super well. Oh, he's been playing out of his mind, yeah. You know, the combos uh, have been looking solid, chasing him onto and off of the platforms. All right, here's Goblin with the big first opening of this game. Ooh. Yeah, and yeah. Samsora had an opportunity to get these platform extensions. If I'm Goblin, just, I don't even want to play on the platforms at all. Yeah. Oh. 
a little bit late on the reaction on the stand up there. Wow, he's making this dare work. Yeah. Looking for, yeah, he's been looking for it. Okay, right there. I mean, maybe that's a back air, but. Yeah, maybe he just didn't think the back air would uh, kill uh, that far away from the ledge. It's possible. Maybe he didn't want to, you know, unsail it or something. It's, I don't know. Oh, don't get sniped here, though. Yeah, that might be far oh, away. Forced him into the free fall, and Sam Sora stealing the first stock after what looked like a really good start for Goblin. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. There. wow, sour spot in the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. I actually think that combo because of the sour spot. Yeah, I think so, man. That might have been exactly what he needed. Yeah, it's good for him to not let uh, Sam Sora run away with the lead he had. Right. You already know, like, it takes one down, so... Oh, oh wow. Four and it went like, through his body. Yeah, I actually can't believe that, that uh, the sword just... <laughs> not, not, not having a hitbox there. All right. Yeah, opportunity here for Goblin trying to hunt these landings, but Sam Sora mixing up really well. Yeah, his... Uh, oh, hold oh, up, that's though. That's the classic. Double edge dance, catching that spot dodge. Insanely strong move. Yeah. It's, like, comparable to uh, Limit Cross Slash. I actually think it's stronger in terms of knockback. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of yeah. unfortunate for our boy Cloud. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, uh, but, yeah, good, good lead here for Goblin. Yep. Best lead he's had so far in the set. Definitely. All right, two up E's and he's at 30% already. Finally yeah. getting that falling up air to work, even yeah. though it was off a trade. That's what he needs. Oh, Ooh, oh wow. I like that. Yeah. Jab one into side B. Or the jab into the side B one. Okay. Nice. Getting to the platform there, so make the up B save. Wow. Oh, the real wow. back. From mid stage, yeah. I mean, that's one thing that, that the platform looks like it does for him is it, it's a, it a really nice hyper to just land on it, uh, make it a lot harder to punish that up yeah. All right, uh, right there. Uh, the animation of Goblin's forward smash put him backwards just enough for Sam Sora's forward air to miss completely. <laughs> the pullback. Yeah. Yeah. Really strong whip punch there for Goblin taking his first game of the set. This could be the start of the reverse 3-0. It just really looks like Goblin just needs that little bit of momentum to press his advantage and put Sam Sora in some bad spots so he can really start to, you know, uh, run, away with the run away with the lead he has. Yeah. Wow. I, I love that he... <laughs> Sam Sora just lets down his shield, turns around, and grabs. He said, I don't need frame data if I can just outplay you. Yeah. That's actually one thing I've been really kind of admiring over the course of this set has been the way Samsora's playing out of shield is actually really smart. Like, Goblin's doing space, safe stuff on Samsora's shield, but Samsora's picking really, like, unique uh, options off of uh, off of those situations. And now with an edge guard opportunity here, yeah, oh, that's going to be the same. Yeah, Goblin had to mix up his drift so well just to avoid the turn up, but then putting himself in free fall is very easy for Samsora to cover once again. Oh, the back air tripped. Could have got a much harder punch there, but he's still going. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to catch the landing, you know, just off the floor tilt. Man, this is so much damage, dude. And it's so rough, too, because the way Samsor is comboing, he's just, like, putting him back on the platform, getting, like, all these resets. Every time a like, Goblin thinks he's out of the combo, he just finds himself right back in Samsor's clutches. Oh. oh, I think that was an F smash for sure to uh, take that, but not sure who he's going for with that up smash. Yeah, just thought he was going to drift differently, I suppose. Okay, forward tilt, not going to connect. Samsora able to back him out of shield. Oh, no sweet spot on the up air. Oh. Nice. That's going to do it. I like the mix up too with the platform drop there. Yeah. Uh, throwing off Samsora's timing. Yeah, seeing if you can kind of bait him out of shield. Bait him doing something that, that he can punish. Okay. And there's that big hitbox in the Royal B, kind of protecting his recovery. Okay, this is an opportunity for some damage here. Air dodging oh. past it. Oh my god, this kid up attack is past the turn, but still finding himself past the ledge. Oh, oh wow. Really rough trade for Goblin, man. That yeah. turn is gonna definitely kill it that percent. Yeah, he needs a, he needs another one of those really early uh, Roy stocks right now. Put himself back in this game. Yep. So that's a good trade though. He needs those falling up bears. Leads us so much for Roy. Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, now with oh, oh run up forward air. I don't blame him. Sweet spot forward air could have been enough to seal the stock at that point. Yep. He runs up and just grabs him. I like that. He puts himself in the corner. So he's going to take it full advantage. Ooh. Carrying him all the way oh, to the top of the rainbow. uppers. Oh. Ah, but the not, not no strong hit. Just a little bit out of uh, out of range of that. Oh. 
Uh, he needed that jab to connect so he can get the back there to close up the stock, but Simsora not falling for it. Mm -hmm. There from across the stage here. Oh. Yeah, everything's going so well now. For Simsora, every little bit of damage makes it so the Goblin is going to have to work extra hard if he wants to take this to game five. Yeah, catching the jump too. Oh. oh, man. Even going for the YOLO counter. Barely avoids the turn up to get back to the ledge. Okay. But Wow, the double edge uh, dance from the ledge, just throwing it out. Mm -hmm. Finally getting that stock, but man, 121, it's going to need a big player to bring this one back. But yeah. this is how it starts. It is, but okay. Fortunately, I was so worried when he jumped off stage and not get, didn't get the forward air. Okay, the launcher here. How is Sensor going to respond? Oh, wow, that near actually working oh, out. Oh, but that oh. down air? Yeah. Drag down just into the air, man. Yeah, you got to be careful going up for those combos. Because yeah. that's the thing about Roy, of course, a character like that, as soon as you swing, uh, you're not going to have to uh, 